Hello. I was looking back at some of my um, past videos and I realized that like I haven't tried a cushion foundation in like a year. And I don't know why because I love cushion foundations. I think they're awesome. So that's what we're doing today. I am going to be doing a little wear test of this guy. This is the Romand Clear Cover Cushion Hanbok Project in number one, Pure 21. I uh, got this off of Yes Style. Uh, let me just open it up on my computer here. I'm not 100% sure what I paid for it at the time. Probably got it on sale, as one does. But it is currently on um, Yes Style at 27.73 Canadian. Comes in three shades. Uh, number one, Pure 21, number two, Natural 21, and number three, Beige 23. Uh, I got Pure 21. Don't know why, because that's the one that is supposed to have a slightly rosy undertone to it. And, um, like, that's what I'm trying to neutralize. So I don't know why I did that. Probably because online it looked like the lightest shade. Usually the lightest shade in cushions will like always kind of like by default have a rosier tone to it. Like you can see my face and my neck are different tones. Um, so this is what I'm trying to match, not this. So we'll see. So I'm just gonna quickly go over couple of the benefits. Uh, usually that would be on the box, but um, uh, everything that I can find on the box is in Korean, and my Korean's not that good, so um, I will just be reading it off YesDial's website. Benefits. Perfectly conceals the blemishes and imperfections to achieve a flawless, radiant complexion. Keeps the natural, semi-glowing skin all day long. Enriched with Bambusa vulgaris water to nourish, soothe, and moisturize the skin effectively. Featuring glassy case design, which is inspired by shades of Hanbok. It also says, uh, Coming in a faux mother-of-pearl case directly inspired by the colors of the Hanbok, this cushion compact provides lightweight yet seamless coverage while also being the perfect collector's item. Bambusa vulgaris water in formula nourishes and hydrates skin to keep that natural looking glow all day long. For long lasting radiance, choose between three shades, subtle rose, neutral beige, and a warmer beige with hints of yellow. So, without further ado, let's crack open this bad boy. Like I said, I did get, eh, I did get shade pure 21, so, um, this may be a little bit rosy on me. When it comes to cushion foundations, they usually don't have like the options in shade range and undertone that like a regular liquid foundation in a bottle would. So I usually just automatically default to whatever the absolute lightest shade is, usually a number 21. And 21s can either match my skin pretty okay, or they can be a little bit dark. So I just went for number one because because that was my best bet there she is it looks really freaking pretty Ooh, pretty there's the inside there's you guys hello <laughs> There's the puff, it's got a pointed tip. That's an airplane. Feels nice and soft. Ooh. There's the inside. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. It actually might not be too bad. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Whoa. 
That's a dense cushion. So here's what it looks like. Just gonna do. <gasps> no. Just gonna do a quick swatch for you. Bloop. Okay, that might not not actually be that bad. Okay, I freaked out for nothing. It does look like it's gonna be a bit dark, but most 21s are on me. Like, what can you do? So, I'm gonna clip back my hair. All right, looking nice and freaky. So here's my skin before. Obvious things to cover up would be a whole schwack of redness here. Like pretty much my entire face is just pink all the time. It's great. I have nothing on my face but a little bit of moisturizer and uh, sunscreen. That's what we're working with today. Um, as a rule, when I'm testing out a, a base makeup product like this, I don't, um, I don't use primer underneath it. I don't add any other product on top of it, like um, setting powder, setting spray, anything like that, because I want to see how the product sits and wears on my natural skin. I don't want, I don't want any other products possibly interfering with the wearability. So, just so you know, let's go in, shall we? So I'm going to lightly tap. Dun, dun, dun. All right. The smell, by the way, I could do without. It's not the worst thing ever. It kind of smells like a mix of like rose water and sunscreen. It's not the worst thing ever. I'm sure a lot of people really like it. I am not a fan of the smell of rose at all, but it's not too overpowering, so. But just so you know, that's what it smells like to me. So I've patted this into one side of my face real good. There we go. Okay, so there's one side of my face. Whoosh. Nothing over here. That was just the tiniest bit. It looks pretty good. It is a little dark for me. You can tell. Oh well, but like, look at the dark circle here. Look at this. Like when I look down, you can still see it, but it did a pretty good job of covering stuff. Hmm. Okay. Looks nice and dewy. I'm just gonna go ahead here and do the other side. I really like the um, the pointed tip on this thing. Makes it really nice to uh, makes it really easy to get into like places like this. I like that. Okay, there it is, all on my face. Here's a quick close up for you. I don't notice any obvious creasing. I expect it will a little bit in my um, in my smile lines and underneath my eyes, but as long as it doesn't crease too bad, then I, I won't be mad at it. Yeah, I do see a little bit of creasing starting to happen. Not underneath my eyes so much, but right here. Just a tiny bit. So I'm just gonna tap that out quick. 
There we go. Boom. Um, smell aside, I'm actually really liking this so far. It's not the right color, but uh, that's to be expected. I can probably take these out now. It is currently 11.23 a.m. right now. I'm gonna wear this on my face all day. Um, if anything weird happens or anything of note takes place, I will pop in and let you guys know. Otherwise, I will... I'll see you tonight. <laughs> oh boy. When you're in the middle of a foundation review, and then your mom comes in and says, Hey, you want to go to Walmart? That's how the mask tracks happen. I'm going to have to fix that. There we go. It's a little better. So. To note, it doesn't hold up that well under a mask. Whew, I'm losing light fast. Um, it is 7.45 right now so this has been on my face for a good eight hours i'm this is gonna be my last check-in i'm gonna just conclude the video here because um i'm just gonna be sitting around for the rest of the evening so the makeup isn't gonna it isn't gonna do anything else um i'll just take one last look here Surprisingly enough, it actually looks really nice. I obviously did lose um, a fair amount of coverage when I put a mask on. I had lines all over my face. Uh, that is to be expected. I am actually pretty impressed that it's not creasing any more than it is. I, I have a couple wrinkles and expression lines on my forehead here. I'm actually really impressed that this did not crease in those lines it didn't crease under my eyes really like the tiniest bit but I just patted that out and it was fine it did crease a tiny bit initially in my smile lines here but as soon as I patted patted that out that was no longer a problem for the rest of the day I went outside in the sun for a little bit and that didn't seem to like, that didn't seem to bother the formula at all. I didn't find it to be super rosy-toned or pinky. Um, not so much that it was off-putting. Overall, I actually really, really like this. Um, it my, gave my skin a very hydrated, uh, healthy glow. Um, I can still feel it's a little tacky on my face but like my hair doesn't stick to it you know it's not it's not wet on my face it's just it remains malleable yeah i'm not sure what else to say i i really like it it's not an exact shade match but um it doesn't look too bad considering um it's it's pretty close um it at no point did it ever accentuate any potential dry areas. It didn't gather in any fine lines or wrinkles that I may have. It didn't. It didn't crease weirdly. It didn't cake up. Um, I even uh, reapplied it on my uh, cheeks and the tip of my nose where I lost coverage after wearing a mask, and it like it it layers on itself beautifully. So, I, I I really have nothing bad to say about it. I don't. I mean, if you're not into sort of like slightly dewy, glowy foundations, you won't like this. But if you do, you will love it. 
because I actually quite like the finish. I still look, after eight hours of wear, I still look dewy and glowy and awesome. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a big old thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. as one duck. You gonna focus? Focus, hello! Ha ha! So there she is. Why? Seriously, with the airplanes? I hate everything. I want to go back to bed. The um, puff over and use the other side to sort of fix that. Because I'm dumb. And I shouldn't have gone in for more, but I did. So, overall, I actually really, really like this. It is. I thought I would be.